Thanks, gentlemen. Uh, let's have uh, some market news now. We've heard about the merger. What else is going on? They're the world's number one internet service provider. And Connie has been on our screens a lot lately, promising a free trial. These days, what does this word really mean? Well, if it concerns the internet, it could mean anything. You may have to change your telephone number or telephone company. You may have to make a minimum number of local, national, or peak rate calls to qualify. You may have to enter into a long-term contract. You may have to pay call charges, charge for a company, helpline, and so on. But that's all stopped thanks to AOL. Our free trial really won't cost you a penny. We pay all the call charges, our helpline's free, and if you don't want to start paying the subscription fee at the end of the trial, just call us. Free, of course, and you won't owe us a penny. So with AOL, free means free. So, as I understand it from Connie, free means costing nothing, then? Mm, no. If you don't have a credit card, the trial's not free. Anne Flaherty signed up a couple of weeks ago because she thought those free hours would help her son Joseph study for his GCSEs. But she doesn't have a credit card, only a Visa debit card. AOL told her she'd have to pay for her free trial at local phone call rates. So, free if you have a credit card? No. Madeline and Martin Meller have a credit card, but they didn't want to stay with AOL, so they phoned to cancel their free trial. Unfortunately, they couldn't get through on the free phone number, so they got charged for a whole month's usage. The same thing has happened to 23 other people that we've heard from. They all think they've been had by the ad. With me now, Matt Peacock from uh, AOL. Matt, how many times, I don't know if you've counted, how many times does Connie say free? In the ad, it's a lot, isn't it? It is a lot, is and it is a, it is a free trial. Um, right. But the, the thing we make clear, and, and this is one of the things we're addressing now as a company, because clearly we're concerned that our members are concerned that they're, they're, they're either not being informed about what the free trial means, or you know they're not able to cancel it when they want to. But it's not free. It, it is, is it? free if you cancel within the first month. The issue here is that people are unable to cancel in the first month, so they go past the 30 days, and they're then being billed. Now that, frankly, to us and to them, is unacceptable. Why is it, it happening? Well, that's what we're looking at this week. Um, this, this hasn't been an issue for, 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 for all the time I've been working with the company. It seems to have been something that's arisen in the last few months. We're speaking to our member services teams to find out what's going on. It's a free phone number that people call to cancel, but for some reason, as you've identified here, out of the more than a million customers we've got, you know, several dozens of people have been having problems. That's not acceptable. We entirely understand how infuriating it is. It's a free phone number, so it doesn't actually cost them anything to call us, but, uh, but you waiting to... on a long time is very frustrating. Are you going to change the ad? Because that's clearly yeah, misleading, yeah, isn't it? We were contacted by some of our customers about six weeks ago to, to point out the fact that they, it wasn't clear to them why we needed a credit card. We actually need the credit card, by the way, for personal security, so we know who you say you are, and that's really to protect you and your children when you're online. We've actually changed the ads. You'll see the ads next week have got a different caption on them, making it very clear that we need a credit card for personal security reasons when you join us. So you've changed the ad. Yeah. Matt Peacock, thank you very much. You're welcome. Right, now back to uh, Adrian in Leicester Square.